Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, we'll be working on a Ford Focus. And if you have any of the following two codes, guys, I'm talking about code P0122 or code P0. 223 stay with us guys we'll explain what causes those codes and how to fix that now you may get one of them you may get both so it really depends guys now quick introduction we'll have more than 200 videos guys on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video hopefully hopefully the information will be helpful okay let me show you what we'll be doing here today <coughs> all the tools and parts guys that we use in our videos you can find uh, all that listed in the description of the video below you can find the links why because uh, that way if you need something you can uh, you, you can quickly get it guys so i will get the scanner that's the scanner that we'll be using and i'll plug it in but i want to show you what happens before we actually even diagnose the system and see okay uh, what is happening there so we're going to go click uh, okay to insert it in the obd cover and that ford focus okay that obd port is under that cover actually <laughs> i'll get in we're going to go ahead start the car okay and listen now okay what's going to happen so check it out now okay car starts it idles really rough you can see it sounds like it's misfiring i'll try to give it gas and see what happens the RPMs do not go up at all and it says engine malfunction engine light is on so what guys causes that now okay stay with us and we're going to explain that quick and uh, we're going to scan the system we'll turn the car off turn the ignition on only okay like that now we're going to select OBD here guys Okay, it's establishing communication now. Codes found too. We click OK, yes. Now, you can see you have two different modules. Usually our codes are under the second one, but always double check both. Go under each one of them and click read codes to check the codes. It's very important to read actually the stored and pending codes, not just one of them, both of them. And the code that we have, P0122, throttle pedal, Position sensor switch A, circuit low. Throttle pedal position sensor switch B, circuit high, P0223. Now I'll go back and I'll actually guys go back and uh, click read codes again. We'll select pending code. So that's throttle position sensor. Switch A, switch B, check it out. Now one thing about that, you can go back and click live data. And it's going to uh, read all the different uh, you know, all the different settings that it has, uh, every module and all that stuff, every sensor. So it can give us the live data for that sensor. And we can check if we can see the throttle pedal position sensor, uh, if it's working or not. You can check it that way. You're going to click view data, complete data set. Okay, and now we'll scroll throttle position 99.2 percent so let me start the car now okay it says tp percentage 90 99.2 i give it gas it just stays at 99.2 it doesn't change at all guys as you can see nothing at all and if i go back okay here probably you can find even more uh, that's uh, throttle position sensor b it's stuck at 98 percent i rev it up nothing guys so you can check if they're working or not and ours is not so i'll go ahead turn it off and i will explain guys what causes that now and how to fix it so most of the times guys this code is uh, uh, caused okay by bad throttle body throttle bodies you know you, this is your air filter box this is a 2.0 engine but if you have the 1.0 three cylinder engine it will be about the same once you follow your uh, air filter box mass airflow sensor follow the boot this is your throttle body right here 
A bad throttle body will cause that, throttle body that's not responsive or a loose wire will cause that as well. And in our case, this is the wire right here. Make sure it's inserted all the way. If you have to reinsert it again, guys, okay. That's a safety pin that needs to be locked, okay, so it cannot get loose. So check that. If that doesn't fix the problem, guys, replace it. We'll have the link in the description of the video below where you can purchase one from. We'll go ahead and replace ours. If you want to see the video, it will be on our channel from start to finish that will explain what needs to be done to do that. Not very complicated. Check it out, guys. The purpose of today's video is to see if the replacement will actually fix these codes. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and replace it now. So the throttle body has been replaced. I'll go inside now. Okay, let me close the door. We'll reconnect the scanner. So there's no communication now. Let me go ahead and first try to start the car without clearing any codes. Okay, it started. Let me see if it's going to sound good or not. Okay, it can rev up, but not much. So, what do we need to do? We need to turn it off. Turn the ignition on. Now you will need that scanner guys, that's what I'm telling you, this is a very good scanner, you can go back and you can click, okay, to delete, erase codes, we erase the codes, it says erase done, now, make sure you stay until the end, if I start it right now, car idle super good, check it out now, no problems, if I go under live data, we click live data one more time, it's going to connect now and we can check how our throttle, uh, throttle position sensors are working and they're detecting uh, movement. Remember how they were stuck at like 99-98% so we'll see what it's going to show now actually. Let's give it just a couple seconds to connect and communicate. Okay, it's almost ready. View data, complete data set. First one of them guys, okay, let's check now uh, to see where the, okay, TP, throttle position, 11%, if I rev it up, okay, you can see how it goes up 46, now if I go to the other ones, I can actually check the sensor B, okay, sensor B, it's at 11.4%, so you can see guys, okay, those are responsive as well, 86%, so definitely, definitely that fixes the problem. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.